What's up guys, welcome back to another Battlefield 2042 video. Now today I'm going to be going over Falk, who in my opinion is the easiest specialist to use in the game. This is for people that are either, I don't know, trying to sort of look and switch up your playstyle a bit with different operator, people that are new to the game, which I'm always going to recommend people that are new to the game to use Falk. I think overall there is no other operator that's better, in my opinion, stuck in that sort of way. So I'm going to be talking about where she's strong, where she's weak, talking about what weapons she best suits, sort of what ranges, where you can get to, you know, whether she's a Russian character. I think personally even though she's class is support because she is a medic and obviously you know the support role just sort of comes with that she plays as she plays as every class especially assault because as you'll see like i'll have some gameplay up here of me using her or if you've ever seen any of my gameplays you'd have seen before anyway but syringe pistol you get is probably the most overpowered gadget in the game and i think that's probably one of the biggest downfalls about i feel 2042's other specialists apart from um the new one zane but he's still a bit iffy it's not as good um, and that is when you get shot and regenerating health you'll see a lot of times I'm probably I'm gonna dive through some clips and see if I've got anything else but if you've seen any of my other gameplays you'll see a lot I'm always whenever I get shot I quickly duck behind cover I quickly syringe back up and within literally a split second one second maybe a second and a half sometimes even half a second I've got nearly full health again or I'm at full health and you can straight away challenge someone because when you do get hit you go into cover you try to challenge any time you try to challenge anyone in any situation you are going to lose nine times out of ten if you've got less health there is also like a beginner and then an intermediate and then like an advanced sort of level as well to playing as Falk now this all does massively as well depend on the game you're playing and the team you're against is heavily subjective on that because I have some games where it just does not work at all but obviously I don't show them gameplay. Beginners where you're just healing yourself, healing your teammates with like a syringe pistol, maybe you're running a med pack, getting a revive here and there, nothing too much you know. Intermediate I'd say is where you are sort of doing more hand on revives supporting your team more not only just healing yourself maybe healing your teammates with a syringe but the the main revive that's what's important for an intermediate sort of player and for advanced i'll say someone like me someone that's constantly reviving on the field obviously when it makes sense because a lot of times when your teammates are requesting revives and it doesn't make sense because you know there are enemies and you're going to get killed you're getting constant revives on the field you're maybe running an ammo pack like i am or a health pack always putting them down supplying your team with stuff you don't have to be healing your teammates with syringes as long as you're getting them meds that is what counts you're staying alive and one thing that i always run which i always recommend is the proximity sensors because them chuckable grenades they put you up on the leaderboard they're super handy because nobody ever destroys them or chucks them back and it pings enemy locations so you know if it's safe or not to make revives and you also replenish your proximity sensors every single time you run over like an ammo bag as well, which just makes them super OP. As soon as it runs out, you can chuck another one and you're spotting enemies again straight away. But an ammo pack and the proxy center, I would say, are essential to run with Falk. Not everyone does, but personally, in my opinion, they're the top to run. And yeah, I think there's probably, I think, I don't know, Falk, she just plays as this sort of, I'm surprised to be honest that they haven't nerfed the syringe pistol to sort of like heal slower. A lot of people like just injecting themselves by holding the button, which is what I do or they shoot the ground and run into it, but I've gotten into such a habit of just injecting myself. Uh, because they updated it, I think it was in season one, it used to take a lot longer, it used to take like two seconds to inject yourself, and now it takes literally a second, and you know, it doesn't add any time on by injecting yourself versus shooting at the floor, I don't think it really matters. I think she's good at all ranges as well, because if you're at far range and you get sniped, someone's hitting you while you're sniping, oh quick, you need to quickly heal up, and you can straight go back to shooting again. And the same, every single situation, I feel, I feel like she's good at all ranges, all situations, all weapon classes. So when I said I was going to say what she's good at and what she's bad at, I don't feel like she's bad at any situation. The only downside I'd say is traversal, where you've got characters like Sundance, where you can zip across the map super quickly. That's like one of my biggest sort of drawbacks I think for most specialists is, is their travel time and Sundance is that massively overpowering like everyone else when it comes to traversal time even though she's had quite a few nerfs but as she is a support class when they bring up these official support roles like support engineer assault and they have like their weapon proficiencies I'm not sure if they're gonna have anything else but they've definitely got a weapon proficiencies Falk will be performing better with LMGs which I'm using LMG in one of these gameplays you'll see here um, I do quite like the LMGs in this game but I do prefer submachine guns or ARs but you know it is what it is nobody knows exactly what the proficiencies are going to be like to the T yet I don't think I haven't been keeping up to date on news too much just because I've been trying to enjoy the game a bit more and just playing it obviously with Christmas and everything's been everything's been a bit hectic um and yeah I feel Falk is the she is the best player to start with I've, I was playing um, a game last night and there was a level one in the game and he was playing as recon and he just he just like he I think he had like one kill 
in something like 17 deaths. And I was in type in chat, but I didn't because he was on console and people on console normally don't see the chat or they don't reply. And if he was playing as Falco, I feel like I'd just make, make everything a lot better. I feel like they should maybe have skill ratings for all the characters, for all the operators. But that makes sense maybe so you know you know what operators are harder to use and master i think mean, falky is the easiest operator to use in the game but she's also one of the hardest to master being an efficient medic is a whole nother sort of task in itself and i've got some other game that i played on arica harbor the other day um i'll probably just put some little bits here and there of it yeah overall i feel like she is the best character there's no budging me on that every sort of range every engagement, anything really, apart from, you know, obviously you've got people like Sundance with like the explosive scatter grenades and, you know, stuff like that's good, okay? But I mean, overall, for like all situations, I felt like Falk is the best all-rounder. I'm not sure how many hours I got played as Falk. I think it's around like 150 odd hours or so. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how many. I don't think that really matters anyway. But um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.